Today I'll be sharing our very first experience with standardized testing using California Achievement Test. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. Hi, it's Olive Bell and welcome to the Hudson's Hub. If you are new here, I am a homeschool mom to two ages 7 and 8 and we live in a state that requires a yearly standardized test. Whether you like it or not. It's actually not bad as I thought it was. It's just one of those boxes that need to be checked on. There are different types of standardized tests. We choose to administer the California Achievement Test and we got ours from Academic Excellence. It was $25 and I got a $5 coupon code because I am a first time user. I think they are still running that coupon code until now. The last time I checked it was still there. It will be in my description box down below so be sure to check it out. When you go to the Academic Excellence website, there are three options to choose from. There's online time and online not time. We choose the paper and it is time. So they sent the packet to me and I will be administering the test to my eldest. I really wasn't sure what to do. That's why I choose the paper. They will also send you a return envelope, but you have to put your own postage in there and they will score it for you for free. And there's another option if you wanted to know the result sooner you can also scan the answer sheet and email it to them it, it is easier and that's what I'm going to do so that I don't have to spend for postage my son already told me that for next year he wants to do it on the computer so I guess I have to purchase the online one and he also told me that it should not be the time one <laughs> he is very specific <laughs> the test is divided into three sections reading mathematics and language so if you choose the california achievement test and you want to administer the test in the beginning of your school year you have to choose the level that your children is or child is in. and if you want to administer the test in the middle of the school year you can also choose the level that he or she is in but if you want to administer the test at the end of the school year you have to choose the next level that your child or children is going to since we are at the end of our school year I choose the level that my son is going into for the next school year so that is fourth grade so he is doing the CAT level 3 and this is for grades 4, 5 and 6. This is the instruction for the person who will administer the test. We got the CAT level 3 for grades 4, 5 and 6 because he's going in to fourth grade. I mentioned earlier that the test is divided into three sections. The first section is uh, reading. The second section is mathematics. And the third section is language. For reading vocabulary, the time allowed is 11 minutes and there are 40 questions. Here is the description and before they will take the test there are two examples or there are two sample questions reading comprehension time allowed is 40 minutes and there are 42 questions two minutes before the time is up you have to let them know that you have two minutes left the math part has four sections the first one is computation the next one is concepts problems and fractions each one of those has different time limit for computation time allowed is 36 minutes and there are 48 questions for math concepts time allowed is eight minutes and number of questions are 25 for math problems time allowed is 12 minutes 
and then number of questions there are 15 for fractions time allowed is 15 minutes and questions are 20. the language part is divided into four sections the first one is language capitalization time allowed is nine minutes for 38 questions the second one is language punctuation time allowed is 18 minutes for 42 questions and then language usage and st structure time allowed is 12 minutes and there are 41 questions and the last part is language spelling time allowed is eight minutes and there are 32 questions the test is now completed this is the questionnaire there's a message here for the student and this is the first section which is vocabulary there's directions here and this sample every section or subject there are two examples just like this one and the answer is given this is the answer sheet it looks like this it's like for college a and b those are the samples so if the answer is number two your child will shade up really black so that the computer can read their answer or whatever is their answer they have to shade the the circle I cannot show you the first two pages, the math and the reading part because my son has already answers there. If this will be your first time to do the standardized testing, just take it easy, take a deep breath. It's not actually bad. It's not a pass or fail kind of test. It's just an assessment to see where your child is at. I know in the homeschooling world, taking tests or administering tests is almost a controversial issue. I will not dig deep into that. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!